In this video, I'll try to give you a basic rundown of the layout, the terminology, and the features of ProPresenter that you'll use most Sunday mornings. Uh, so when you come in, ProPresenter should already be fired up and ready to go on the computer. If it's not, then you'll look for an icon on the desktop that looks like this, and you'll click it. Now obviously I'm on a Mac, so the interface is looking different here, but ProPresenter's interface uh, will look very much like what you see here. So right away, uh, when you fire up ProPresenter for the first time, it will always come up with the ProPresenter Information Center. Again, it should be ready to go on Sunday mornings, so you won't likely see this very often. But if it does come up, all you do is click on this X up here, and that goes away. Now I've got this in list mode. Right now it looks very much like what MediaShout looks like. Um, but ProPresenter's default mode looks more like this. And Personally, I prefer this because you can see more slides at once. So let's uh, talk about some of the terminology. Media Shout uh, presentations were called scripts. So you had a presentation for every Sunday morning, or sorry, a script for every Sunday morning. Those scripts contained cues, and the cues were normally listed right here. So there would be a cue for every song, every verse, every video, every sermon note, etc. So each script which was a presentation for a Sunday morning, contained cues. In ProPresenter, the terminology is a little bit different. ProPresenter uses, rather than scripts, uses playlists, which are listed down here. So there will be a playlist for every event that we've created one for. Um, and when you click on a playlist, it'll switch out everything that you see here, as well as here. What you'll see here is a list of not cues, but documents, essentially the same thing. So each playlist contains a list of documents, and documents can be of various types. They can be songs, they can be videos, sermon notes, etc. Every document that exists on the computer to be shown in ProPresenter is listed here. And if you want to find something, let's say a song, you can filter them out by clicking Song, and then typing the name of whatever document you're looking for. So I'll type Our God. And there it is, and then if I want, I can fire it from here. Notice that this switches out. Or I can drag it down here into a playlist. So this is a playlist that I've put together to demonstrate uh, the interface here. So you'll notice that it contains two songs, then some example sermon notes, a verse, and then two more songs. To fire any slide, you just click on it, like this. Once you have a slide fired, to fire the next slide, you can hit the space bar, or you can hit the right arrow. If you hit the left arrow, then it does exactly what you'd expect. It goes back to the previous slide. The up and down arrows, however, do something slightly different. Right now, we're in the Salvation is Here song document. You can see, both here and here, that what comes next is another song called Nothing to Fear. If I hit the down arrow while I'm in Salvation is Here, It'll switch to the first slide of Nothing to Fear, but it doesn't fire it. It just switches me so that I'm looking at that new document. So up and down arrows just switch the view, not the screen, to the preceding or, or the, uh, the document before or the document after. Right and left arrows actually change what's showing on the screen. So the, another thing that you'll notice is that whereas this slide here has a background, all of these have a blank background. Whatever uh, background is currently on the screen will be inherited by any slide that you click that is without a background. So I've clicked on this one that has a background, and you'll see the background up here matches. I can go to this next song, Nothing to Fear. You'll notice the first slide shows a different background. But if I click one of these, it keeps the background from the previous song. Um, that's just the way that they've put this together. However, if I'm in this song, Salvation is Here, I get to the end, and I hit the space bar to go to the next song, it switches out the background because the first slide of Nothing to Fear has a background. Oh, yes, you'll notice that it didn't switch out that background. That's because of a strange feature in ProPresenter. I'm not sure I understand why they built this in. You have to hit the spacebar twice 
when going to the next document. So I just hit it once, it didn't go to the next document. I hit it again, then it does go to the next document. Within each document, hitting the spacebar once advances to the next slide. Switching to the next document, you have to hit the spacebar twice. The first time you hit it, it will merely switch the view here uh, to show the upcoming document. But then hitting the spacebar actually puts it on the screen. So that's a quirk to be aware of. Once you have a background up, if you want to change that background out, you just click on one of the elements that are down here and it will swap it out, as you can see up here. Those are the basics of what you'll need to use on Sunday morning just for showing the script that is, or sorry, the playlist that has been pre-prepared.